What are your final thoughts on what happened? <laughs> I don't even skip. I, I, I don't really know what the, the, the blow up was about with Bubba Wallace because, first of all, Bubba Wallace did not report it. Bubba Wallace didn't see it. Now, he might have saw a picture of it, but it was before he got there. He was notified. He was briefed of what transpired. Mm -hmm. So everybody's trying to make Bubba Wallace out to be Jesse Sm Smollett yes. is, is, is gravely, sadly mistaken. Skip, it was a noose. Now, NASCAR didn't need the FBI to come in to tell them what it was. It was a noose. Skip, and people like, well, that, that's yes, it was a noose. Skip, if I kill a fly with my shoe, my shoe is not a fly swatter. It's still a shoe. I just used it for something different. That is a noose that they use for a garage pool. Now, you bring the FBI in and see, okay, did someone put this there trying to intimidate Bub Bubba Wallace? Who did it? That's what you're trying. That's why you bring the FBI in. You didn't need the FBI to tell you what it was. Hell, you're looking at it. Look up. I tell you what. Go to any page and see noose and see what it does. It look like what was hanging in Bubba Wallace's garage. Now, think about it, Skip. Of all the tracks, uh, all the garages, if there's 43 cars, 45 cars on a given Sunday running, each one of them have their own garage. As many tracks as they have, I think it's over 1,600. Only one. They had a noose. Now, Levin still used the rope pull. Skip, I grew up in, I've been in garages, grew up on a farm. Now, normally when you have a, a, a pull that you're going to pull it down, what Mr. Joe would use, what we call a ball knot. He would fix yeah. it so it was like a ball. You yeah. just grab it and pull it down. Got it. Or they would just try just a common knot. So you just grab it and pull it. I've never seen one fashion like a noose because a noose is what it is. It's a noose. Why you put it there or why they used it doesn't change what it was. Because they use it as a garage door pull does not change the meaning of what it is. It is still a noose. And for people to be, and think about what transpired, Skip, and that's what leading up to this. All of a sudden, uh, NASCAR says Black Lives Matter. They're doing away with the Confederate flag. And, and now on the very same day, you got people still outside of the track with, with those Confederate flags. Mm -hmm. You got the plane flying over with the Confederate flag saying defund NASCAR. So NASCAR acted, I believe, appropriate. Yep. They had to take these steps. And so, Skip, I have no problem with the way Bubba Wallace handled it. I have no problem with the way NASCAR handled it because I think they handled it the only way they could. But it just goes to show you, Skip, this is a Southern sport. Yeah, they come out to California, Sonoma, and they mm -hmm. race in Vegas, mm -hmm. and they go upstate New York to Watkins Glen. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it, you go Talladega, and you go Daytona, and you go Richmond, and you go Hampton and Atlanta, Georgia. Skip, this is a Southern sport. Mm. And that Confederate flag has been a part, it's been ingrained, embedded in NASCAR since NASCAR has come to be. Mm -hmm. So people are going to resist this now. They're going to fight. Now, I'm glad, it, but I got a bigger question, Skip. It's been there since October. And nobody thought, like, damn, they got a noose. That's a garage for And nobody thought anything about that. That goes to show you how ingrained and how commonplace things of that nature would be. How insensitive they are to that. That ain't, that ain't, yeah. no, that ain't no, no garage pool. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Come on, Skip, really? Mm -hmm. So I have no problem with the way uh, uh, NASCAR handled it, and I think Bubba Wallace, well, Bubba Wallace handled it accordingly. Okay. So I, I echo your sentiments about NASCAR. The new NASCAR got out ahead of this story yes. in ways the old NASCAR never would have. The new NASCAR, led by Steve Phelps, did a lot of good to try to get to the bottom of it. Right. I'm just not sure we got to the very bottom right. of what was happening. So let me ask you a question. Yep. Let's say... Per the FBI report, let's let's agree that this was hanging in that said garage mm -hmm. since last October. Right. So as here we come back to Talladega again. By the way, Talladega is in sort of the eastern side of, of Alabama, fairly near the Georgia state line. Mm -hmm. So it's in what we would call the deep south, right? Yes. Okay. So there are 40 drivers in the race. Mm -hmm. And there are 44 stalls mm -hmm. in the garages in the infield. Mm -hmm. And usually it just goes by point standings or, right. or sort of money earned, but point standing. Right. How, you, you know, preferred garages closer to entry point into the track. Correct. The better you are, the closer you get. Right. So usually it would sort of fall like that. Mm -hmm. With social distancing, they're, they're trying to do it a little different way right now. So it gets a little more complicated how Bubba winds up in that garage. But remember, you have 44 possibilities. Right. And there's only one black driver in, in the whole sport who races full time. Correct. Right? Mm hmm. 
Help me out. It, what are the odds he winds up in the one stall that had a noose hanging in it since last October? Help me out. Is that just sheer, like a billion to one coincidence? I, it's not a billion, but it'd be thousands to one. Bubba might need to play the, uh, play the lottery. I would say. Don't you, don't you think? <laughs> yes. Or not play, like run from the lottery. But right? here's the thing, though, Skip. If that was there, you don't think somebody in his garage would have just like taken it down before? So, man, this is not a good look. But it just go like as we were talking about Skip. It just goes to show you that oh that it ain't nothing. They, they use that as a garage pool. Not, it's a new steal. How they're using it, Skip. Mm -hmm. How you use something does not change the meaning of what that is. Mm -mm. So I loved it that the FBI did deep dive research right. and came back with that number that you just read: a thousand six hundred eighty-four garage areas uh, across. What is it? Uh, 29 racetracks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And only 11 pulls, you know, door use pulls. Ropes. You, use rope, okay? And no, only 11 were, were tied it, with knots. That's not, they, they all have a rope, but, right. but only 11 had those kind it's of knots knot. that you're talking about, right. like just kind of a ball knot right. so that you can you, you can rest you your yes, fist yes. on it so you can right. get a little more leverage to pull Correct. the door down. Yes. Okay, we get that. Yes. Only one noose. And by the way, so so the point is, the FBI, I needed one more level of research that we didn't get. Right. Okay, so who's responsible? Who signed off on putting Bubba in that garage? Right. And whose responsibility was it to have some idea of what was hanging in the garage to start with? Right. I don't know. Right. So I'm still a little bit in the dark about how did Bubba wind up in that garage? Somebody had to say, Bubba, you're assigned to that garage. And did the somebody have any idea there was a noose hanging in that garage? Well, Skip, it's, it's hard for me to believe that they found that, what, race day? I mean, that, that, they had to be there on, like, a, a Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. They had to get there they ha because they have to have stuff already in the garage. So for no one to, no to, I'm not saying they didn't notice it, Skip, but I believe because of NASCAR and the way it's done business for such a long time, this was just like, that, that's nothing. Okay, now let's talk about the noose in question. To NASCAR's credit, it released on Friday a picture of the actual news. Yeah. Okay? And if we could see that picture, please. This was shocking to me to see it because here we go. Right. Um, okay. I I sort of got it in my head. Maybe it's a tiny noose used for a handle. Were, yeah. were you fashioned a right. little one? Yes. You know, that would be just big enough to put your hand in to pull right. it down? Right. Uh, that, that looks a little bigger than that yeah. to me. That looks like that's big enough to go around a man's neck. Wait, that that it, looks, it, right? It's, it's slidable. It's a jump right? skip. You can move it up and down. Well, that's so what you I'm got saying. a little neck or you got a chicken neck or you got a, okay. a, a bigger neck. So to me, what is the single most evil symbol of slavery and then extended slavery in this country? Yeah, it was the noose. It was the noose. Yeah. Because even after the slaves were quote unquote freed, yeah. what started happening? Right. A lot of white people in the South started saying, well, you ain't free. You're not free. Yeah. They drag you from your home, and yeah. then they would hang you. Okay, there we go. And it, what was it called? Strange fruit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's there's nothing more evil than that symbol we just saw. Right. And yet, that wasn't a little one. That wasn't fashioned for efficiency or convenience right. to be able to grab hold with just your, just hey, grab right. your hand around it. It looked like it was put there for a purpose, a reason to make a statement. Skip, I guess they're going to say, well, what happened was, if you look at the noose, you just reach up there and you just put your hand in the, in the noose and you just pull down. That's, that's, that's how we did it, Skip. That's, that's, what, that's all it was. That, that's, that's what we did. Why, but, okay. but, but, Skip, why? I don't know. If you took that kind of time to fashion that kind of... Because, Skip, I mean, obviously you get very proficient. I'm, guys that's in the garage can tie knots in a matter of seconds because they've been doing it for a long time. But if you took the time to do that when you couldn't do it, just do a ball knot. Mm. So I love the way all the other drivers, obviously all white drivers, literally stood behind Bubba. Yeah. I love that statement. But once again, the, the greatest development we've had post-murder of George Floyd mm -hmm. in Minneapolis is that finally in this country, all the remnants of racism are being openly challenged. Mm -hmm. It hasn't ever happened before. Right. And I tweeted about this the other day. And if you don't mind, I'm going to read my tweet that I, this is for early last week while we were off.
I said, the races keep clinging desperately to symbols of the past, born of hate and slavery, passed down by generations of parents teaching children. But now so many Americans of their same color have been awakened and are saying, no, enough. Now they are a dying breed, meaning those races. Mm -hmm. So again, the statues are coming down. Mm -hmm. The symbols are coming down. Now the lawmakers in Mississippi have ruled that that flag will be no more. Mm -hmm. It will be done away with. It's got to get ratified by right. the, their, their house Houses, there. Yeah. But, and but, the governor says he will but, sign but it. But it sure seems like that's Does. going to be the end of right. that Confederate legacy flag. Yes. Any remnant of slavery slash racism of the past, the South shall rise again, is being openly challenged because they all got grandfathered in. Right. Uh, every one of them got grandfathered in to where we were all just insensitive, like it's there. Like the, the, all the black athletes who went to Ole Miss, I've been saying for 20 years, how can you sort of live with this? Right. And again- and you I, score a touchdown, they come, and they wave the rebel flag when you score- They're waving the rebel flag in your face <laughs> because they're happy for you, but, but wait, they're still celebrating and, 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 and I think the uh, Kalen Hill, I think that's his, nice, uh, his name, Skip. Mm -hmm. And he was like, when you read his comments about what he posted, and he was like, it dawned on him. He's like, you cheer for me in one breath. And then on the same token, because I don't want this flying in my face and mm -hmm. what it symbolizes, yep. you say that in this other, in another breath. You're talking about the kid who transferred yeah. to Iowa State. No, the, no, the, uh, no, no. the running back. I oh, okay, running back. I got it. I got it. Skip, but I'm like, anymore. really? But Skip, I, I don't get it. You lost. They're trying to hold on to a, a, a remnants of the past, as you mentioned. You lost. You lost. You try to, to throw, throw, thumb your uh, uh, finger in our eye. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We have to go to school. Robert E. Lee. What? He lost Stonewall Jackson. You lost. You don't put loot. When did they start putting losers' names on, on buildings? Mm -hmm. Well, it is when it's, it's their heritage, it's their, their ancestors, and we need to hold on because if we let this skip, you lost. You don't normally, when, you, when, when we, we, we study history, we don't really mention oh, too much about the loser side. Mm. So if we, that part's get erased, we got to have, have a remembrance of it. We got to see that statue? That's Stonewall Jackson. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened to him? Oh, yeah, he lost. So why you got a statue? Well, you know, it's our pride, it's a sense of pride. Mm -hmm. Skip, everybody knows there's only one reason the South fought its own self, which was the North. Mm -hmm. It was to maintain slavery and the economic base. Mm -hmm. Skip, there's no way around that. Okay. I got you. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.